Now it's time to get up and get ready with our eye-opening trivia, and mm -hmm. it's Mother's Day, so of course we have to stick with the theme. For Mother's Day that's trivia what, for That's you. what we do around here. Yeah. All righty, today's question. In what year did President Woodrow Wilson make Mother's Day a national holiday? Hmm. Was it 1902, 1910, 1914, or 1921? It would help to know when Woodrow Wilson was president. It would. And I happen I'm to sure know, you know. <laughs> I happen to know when Woodrow Wilson was president, <laughs> so that, that helps out. And I actually thought Mother's Day was an official uh, holiday here in the United States a little bit later. I thought it was in the in the 40s or 50s, so I was mistaken, but you gave me a, a pretty good hint there. I know. Yeah. I should have done a different question. Maybe which president? Ah. Mm, I would have guessed something uh, else in Woodrow I Wilson. know you would have. It's okay. <laughs> All right. We're talking about some uh, severe weather chances okay. uh, for today. We've already had some earlier this morning, but that line kind of broke up. Not a whole lot around here right now, but we do have some severe weather that is uh, just to our west in Okaloosa County. Actually, a tornado warning still oh. underway right now. We'll show you where the action is right now. Uh, actually, we'll show you the uh, weather headlines. Storms for Mother's Day, yeah, that's a definite possibility, especially right now in uh, portions off to our west. Fewer chances for rain next week, and it gradually gets warmer. We've had some pretty nice days here in the last few. And uh, we're just going to see more warm temperatures. But right now, let's get to where the action is. Uh, in our area, a little moderate, uh, strong thunderstorm right now. A little bit of lightning associated with that in Miller County and northern Seminole County. But the real action is off to that south and west. We see uh, a line of showers setting up all the way from uh, Okaloosa County near Niceville down to Fort Walton Beach and points off to the south. That tornado warning lasts for another 15 minutes or so. No reports yet of a tornado on the ground or any damage associated with it, but still a pretty strong thunderstorm there. We expect this line to move eastward, and when it does, it's going to move into some pretty unstable air. That means the chances of thunderstorms and maybe even some severe weather is possible for late in the morning and early in the afternoon. 68, 64, Tallahassee and Thomasville. Plenty of humidity out there, plenty of juice in the atmosphere. It is now moist in all columns and all levels of the atmosphere, which means a good chance to see some pretty strong thunderstorms for today. We've got 70s, we've got 60s region-wide. Very mild for us this morning. And you see that primary line of showers and thunderstorms right when it enters our area kind of breaks up. We do have some showers, some light to moderate rain in South Georgia at the moment, but it's this line that we're looking at that is now just off the coast of uh, Okaloosa County and uh, near Panama City Beach. We'll be watching that as it progresses eastward for us later on this morning. You see the winds are pretty gusty right now, especially down near the coast, about 20 mile an hour wind near Apalachicola, but it's all feeding from the south and southeast, plenty of moisture in our neck of the woods. And that moisture content, that flow coming off the Gulf of Mexico will help feed these showers and thunderstorms for today. Really, the only action in the lower 48 is in the southeast where you've got that little spin, that area of low pressure right now centered over Georgia. The future cast shows the chances of rainfall for today, maybe even some stronger thunderstorms developing this afternoon and this evening. I think our severe weather chances are going to be strong gusty winds and maybe a little bit of small hail. The chance of a tornado is very, very small, but there is a chance of it today. So be watching here. We'll have all the severe weather updates for you all day long. Then things kind of start to break up for Monday for the start of our work week. We hang on to the moisture, so it's going to remain humid Monday and Tuesday with those rain chances greatly diminished, right around 30 to 40 percent. Marine forecast, small crafts exercise caution, especially out uh, this morning, those winds are whipping. Right now, southeast 15 to 20 knots, seas 3 to 5 feet, choppy, and it will decrease to a light chop once those winds go calmer this afternoon. High tides, low tides for Apalachicola, St. Mark's, Carabelle, and Steenhatchee. We've got low tides finishing up. High tides will start in the next 45 minutes to an hour. Low 80s for the afternoon time, but the showers and thunderstorm chances are going to be the real story for today. Gusty winds, maybe a little bit of heavy rain as well this afternoon. Keep it right here. We'll have all the updates for you. Lingering showers, mild and humid for tonight. Those showers should end by around midnight, and uh, we'll see the end of the rainfall for the middle of our work week, too. Things start to dry out then. But we'll be watching the skies for today, be watching the weather around here, and uh, I'll be here all day keeping you updated. If any severe weather breaks out, we'll break into coverage and let you know the very latest. Sounds good. So well, stay inside, moms. Yes. <laughs> Hopefully we won't see that kind of rain around here, but not good news if you have plans outdoors uh, for tomorrow for Mother's Day here in uh, the area in Georgia and Florida. Yeah, not quite, uh, not not quite that, that level yeah. of, of flooding, and it's a double-edged sword for them. They have been in the middle of a, of a two, three-year-long drought, and more rain that they can get, the better. But around here, 
we've been in a drought too for the best yeah. last uh, 18 or 19 months, and we can use all the rain we can get. Nothing like that, but good chances for rain tomorrow, thunderstorms, and possibly even some strong to maybe even some severe weather to talk about too. Let's go to the highs for today, though, before we get to most of the action that's already around the panhandle of Florida. We saw 80s and even a 90 degree mark in Live Oak today under all that cloud cover, very overcast sky. You see morning temperatures remain very mild and then afternoon highs got up into the mid and upper 80s for most folks, a high of 87 here in Tallahassee, a little bit above average. Right now we are still in the 70s, 73 Tallahassee, 73 in Thomasville. You see these dew points starting to rise a little bit. The atmosphere getting a lot more moist, which is all a harbinger of things to come as far as our rain chances go. The atmosphere is going to moisten up and really provide us with good chances for rain fall for tomorrow. Right now, temperatures still in the 70s for everybody, low, middle, and even some upper 70s showing up on the map. But what we're really concerned about is some of the shower and thunderstorm activity we are already seeing. Our region pretty much dry, but it's all the action that's just off to our west. In the eastern, uh, western panhill, I should say, folks in Pensacola have already seen some very active weather. A tornado warning uh, at about 9.30 our time, and uh, actually a tornado confirmed on the ground just uh, near the college campus there in Pensacola. That line has moved through. Nothing uh, severe right now, but you see lots of showers and uh, some thunderstorms actually embedded with this line. All of it moving this way, very, very uh, slowly at about uh, 10, 15, 20 miles an hour, especially some of the more embedded thunderstorms with this line. You can't see it uh, for folks watching this on the traditional television, but the uh, HD folks can definitely see that line of showers stretching through the western panhandle at this moment. This line continues to move eastward, and by the time we get to tomorrow morning early, I'm thinking 5.30, 6 o'clock, we should start to see the first part of this line enter into our area, some heavier thunderstorms along with it, and then we've got a warm front that's setting up along the Gulf Coast. This will also trigger some showers and thunderstorms to get sparked up for the morning hours and into the afternoon, and then things should start to quiet down. But before that does happen, there's a good chance we're going to see some strong thunderstorms associated with this cold front that stretched all the way up from Tennessee, Kentucky, down through Alabama, and into the Gulf Coast. Some strong gusty winds, some very small hail is possible, and we've already seen some isolated tornadoes with this line, and I think we might see one too, but it's going to be very isolated in nature. The chances are very small, but there is a chance that we do see an isolated tornado during the uh, event tomorrow, so just be on alert. We're going to be here all day keeping you updated, so keep it tuned right here. You see the water vapor imagery in the middle and upper levels of the atmosphere. This is kind of a flow. Uh, you see the flow of the atmosphere with this image, and you see all the greens and the whites. It's all very heavy moisture, so you see most of this is upper level energy that's causing these showers and thunderstorms to get sparked up. The future cast shows those rain chances all around for us for tomorrow, morning, noon, and uh, during the evening time and afternoon as well. Most of it will start to end by Sunday evening and into uh, Monday morning, but we're still going to hang on with some of that moisture for the start of our work week on Monday, and things start to slowly dry out as we go throughout the work week next week. Marine forecast, small crafts exercise caution, a little bumpy out there on the water for tomorrow, especially with those showers and thunderstorms around. Your tide times posted online at WCTV.TV. So your forecast for tonight, middle, upper, and uh, right near 70 degrees uh, as far as our overnight lows go. Some thunderstorms will be around, and then really the thunderstorm activity gets ramped up for tomorrow afternoon. Heavy rain and some wind around, and uh, the chances are there for some severe weather, some isolated severe storms. You see the seven-day planner. Good chances of rain for Sunday. Monday, they start to slack off a bit. And then by the uh, middle of the work week and end of the work week, only about a 30 to 20% uh, rain chance. So not too bad. But have that umbrella handy for tomorrow and watch us. We'll be right here all morning, afternoon, evening long with any severe weather updates. Busy day for you tomorrow. Right. Yep. Well, so far, most of the severe weather has been up in Georgia. Mm -hmm but it's coming to Florida pretty soon. Yeah, uh, we've already got uh, some severe weather in Jackson County and uh, points off to the west of uh, the Big Bend and the Panhandle where uh, most of our viewers are, but a lot of this is in still in southern Georgia. Now, the line that we saw that was pretty impressive about two hours ago, it started to fizzle out, but we still have a tornado warning in effect for Coffee, Atkinson, and Clinch County, and there is the polygon right here Right near Pearson is where the storm is. Now, there's no confirmed tornado as of yet, 
but uh, National Weather Service radar continued to indicate one. What that means is conditions are favorable, and you just see that it goes off your screen. So a tornado warning not in effect anymore for anywhere in our viewing area, and that is actually the last warning in effect for the viewing area. This tornado warning off of our grid, so we won't have to worry about that. We will highlight some of the other areas that we were looking at, and that's where the tornado warning was. A pretty impressive looking cell that moved through uh, southern Georgia near Adel, just to the north of Valdosta, through Moultrie, just to the south of Tifton a little bit earlier, and all associated with a big squall line that held together pretty well. Started around 715, 720, we started to see the severe thunderstorm warnings pop up, and they haven't stopped since. And the tornado warnings that we saw, nothing confirmed, but indicated by radar that a good rotation and a good uh, favorable atmosphere tornado for tornado development, but nothing had materialized. Now, we're looking at this line of showers and thunderstorms, oh, from the uh, east of Mariana down uh, through Liberty County through uh, to the west of Panama City. That's moving east at around 40 to 45 miles an hour. This is the second wave of showers and thunderstorms. Now, a lot of folks have been calling me from Tallahassee, from Leon County, asking when we're going to see it. We've been talking all night about it in southern Georgia, but it looks like in the next hour, hour and a half to two hours, this line will be making its way through most of uh, Leon County, some of the more populated areas in our viewing area. Now, nothing severe out of this line just yet, but there isn't uh, it doesn't mean there couldn't be by the time we get to around midnight, say 1 o'clock in the morning, but we'll be here to keep you updated. The movement of the showers and thunderstorms over the last three hours, you see all the warning boxes that popped up in southern Georgia, not a whole lot in the panhandle just over Jackson County, and uh, just to the very, very western tip of Gasson County, really nothing to speak of in the panhandle of Florida, but there will be later on tonight and into early Sunday morning. We'll keep you posted every step of the way right here, but as of right now, all clear in Florida. We'll have the rest of your seven-day forecast, including that President's Day week forecast, coming up. All right, so we saw what was going on locally in the bigger view. You see that area of low pressure? That's spinning uh, right near uh, Alabama, you know, the, co the uh, border of Alabama, Mississippi. All of that pushing off to the east at a pretty good clip, moving 45, 50 miles an hour. Once we get done with the heavy weather for tonight and early tomorrow morning, we should start to see breezier conditions for Sunday and everything starting to calm down. So just bear with us for another four or five hours. If you have to stay up, stay up, get a pot of coffee on. We'll let you know and keep you updated every step of the way on the severe weather threat is over. Low pressure system moves on out. High starts to move in by Monday, and that's when we see our windy, windy weather continue. Maybe even a little cooler, too, by the time we get to Monday morning and into Monday afternoon. Some near average temperatures and not so muggy and nasty. You see a little bit of sunshine that we haven't seen in a few days. Not the best day to be out on the water at all for tomorrow. Small craft advisory all day. Gale force winds are possible, especially a couple of miles offshore. Seas 8 to 10 feet and very rough in the bays and protected waters. Keep that boat in dock if you can tomorrow. Sunday tide times, Apalachicola, St. Mark's, Carabelle, and Steenhatchee. These are online at WCTV.TV. So showers, thunderstorms, a pretty good bet for the panhandle for the rest of the night tonight. Most of the stuff in southern Georgia starting to wrap up and starting to decrease in intensity. But still, be on the lookout for any thunderstorms and keep it right here. We'll let you know every step of the way. Showers, thunderstorms for early tomorrow morning. Everything should be ending by around 8, 9 o'clock and then clearing and turning very breezy with northwesterly winds, 15, 25 miles an hour. There's that three-day planter. We'll stretch it out for the seven-day and show you getting a little topsy-turvy again for the middle of the work week. Rain chances Wednesday and Thursday and clearing out for next weekend. But, of course, we're going to be watching the weather for tonight. We still have uh, Lindsay Day and myself here. We'll uh, keep you updated every step of the way. All right. Thanks so much, Nate.